Uh, switching gears now, the Prudential Center in Boston is glowing blue and yellow tonight. And wait until you see who flipped the switch. Taylor is a canine companion for independence from New Hampshire. Take a look. She is so cute, but she is also highly trained service dog that provides assistance to children, adults and veterans with disabilities. Taylor and her friends are spreading word of their mission at the Pru tonight. She knows about 50 different commands can turn on and off lights, open and close doors. They go through a year and a half of puppy raising with our wonderful puppy raisers, they're our lifeblood. They take them in for a year and a half and then they give them up for advanced training and to get matched. Incredible. Well, the program was launched back in 1985. Canine Companions is the largest provider of assistance dogs in the U.S. There is no charge to the person who needs a dog, so this nonprofit is always grateful for volunteer trainers and donations. Hey, we got to watch out for Friday. I guess some rain's coming in, Haley. Yeah, that's going to impact travel. I know a lot of people, me included, still have some loose ends to tie up, mm -hmm. you know, holiday shopping, Absolutely. grocery shopping. It's going to be tough to do that with the heavy rain. Certainly you'll be able to, but it's going to be one of those days where you have to just add some extra time to your travels because of heavy rain, low visibility, big puddles, and traffic too. Sunny and milder tomorrow. If you can get out and tie up those loose ends tomorrow, the better thing would be to do it because we have better weather. It'll be dry, it'll be sunny, it'll actually be mild too with temperatures running in the 40s. Now as the storm system arrives, at least initially after dark tomorrow night, there may be a brief period of some freezing rain before we eventually change over to very heavy rainfall on Friday. That will result in possibly even some localized flooding. We actually have a flood watch that's been issued mainly for some urban low lying flooding, which is possible. Crazy to think we've got that going on when the temperatures are as cold as they are. 11 in Whitefield, 12 in Berlin, about 21 in Laconia, 23 Concord, 29 degrees in Manchester, about 26 in the Portsmouth area. If you want some milder air, it's on the way. You see it down toward our south and west here, Des Moines and St. Louis. That's the chunk of milder air that's just about to move closer to us. And certainly by Friday, it is here with many of us going up into the 50s through the day on Friday. So there's actually two systems at play here. We get one more day, it's right here, of sunshine. And then you look out toward the Midwest and down toward the Gulf of Mexico. Both of these weak systems right now are actually going to combine and become one bigger system and bring in some very heavy rainfall. And because we're going to primarily get the system that's down over the southeastern part of the U.S. now, Along with the rain will come the milder air. It's not a snow mix event. This is all rain, even for the mountains and even for the North Country. So tomorrow it is mostly sunny. It's a dry day. Late in the afternoon, clouds will start to creep in, especially in the southwestern part of the state. And look at this by about 10 o'clock in the evening. You see how there's a little bit of pink showing up on future cast. That's that nasty freezing rain, which initially will likely happen at least for an hour or two. But then as as the heavier rain moves in and the milder air moves in, it changes completely over to plain rain and heavy plain rain at that. Look at that where you see yellow and where you see orange and red on future cast. That's indicating these pockets of just a deluge of rain could even be some thunder and lightning too. A good one to three inches of rain is possible. Hence the flood watch for the almost the entire area up north. The main threat would actually be ice jam flooding. So that, of course, happens when the ice is locked in the rivers. And then when you get milder air and rain, it can break apart the ice. And sometimes the ice gets locked underneath bridges or overpasses, river turns. So in the North Country, it's more of a threat of river flooding, whereas central southern New Hampshire, it's more like low-lying and urban flooding that we'll have to watch out for. Tonight, passing clouds, chilly, temperatures in the teens and 20s. As for tomorrow, we'll have sunshine, then clouds filling in. But hey, temps in the 40s and sun, that'll feel nice. On Friday, we won't really be able to enjoy that 50 degrees because of the heavy rain coming in. As far as the weekend, some remaining showers Saturday, Sunday's brighter and dry. And then for Christmas Eve, some light snow showers possible. Right. So that's kind of our one hope of a white Christmas, at mm. least in southern New Hampshire. Hey, we'll see. So we'll mm -hmm. see. Okay, very good. Thanks so much. Hey, we are off to the Seacoast tonight in sports. Jamie has a check on high school hockey. We head to the rinks up next.